All right, YouTube, y'all read the title. This video is called Hit Cardio, High Interval of Cardio for um, Burning Belly Fat, all right, to lose, to burn calories, all right? But before I get into it, let me tell you that you cannot spot reduce fat, all right? So a lot of people think that if they do a whole bunch of sit-ups, things like that, things with their belly, the belly, the belly, that they're going to lose belly fat fat in their stomach. No, that is not how it works. How it works is you want to do things that burn the most amount of calories. Alright? Things that you can stick to. The reason I choose basketball, basketball is my number one choice. I'm having fun with my son. You know what I'm saying? Um, My second choice is a very long walk. I, lo I love to go for a long walk while talking to you guys, while teaching while preaching walk and talk cardios i got a million of those videos all right type in rep type in this walk and talk cardio but this right here is hit training why is it hit training that's just basketball because you're going fast and slow fast and slow you're running for the ball you're um you're jumping you're you're doing all kinds of things you're burning lots and lots and lots of calories and you're having fun while doing it that way it doesn't feel like a job this is this is something i get to do not something i like i feel like i have to do you know what i'm saying so father and time uh father and son bonding time all of that you can add anything you want to there anything positive you know what i'm saying um so there's ups downs slows and goes um this particular one i had on my wrestling shoes because i had just hit the gym i was working out lifting weights um so yeah, I'm not going to run as much as I usually would. And I realized I wasn't even thinking about it through like until like halfway through the um cardio session. Well halfway through the um our playtime, whatever you want to call it. I wouldn't call it a game. We wasn't really playing one on one. But if you look at the shoes I had on in other videos, they're nothing fancy or nothing like that. But they're more um suitable than the ones I have now. I got on wrestling shoes, alright? Wrestling shoes are not good for basketball so i had to watch how i ran watch how i jumped uh watch how i uh did anything i could twist my ankle they're not made for that you know what i'm saying they don't have cushion at the bottom either so um hard soles at the bottom you feel like i'm almost bare feet it's not really good for jumping around there's no safety there's no padding you know what i'm saying so uh what i'm trying to say is you cannot spot reduce fat all right, a lot of people say I got arm fat, so I, I want to do a whole bunch of tricep push downs and things like that. That's going to build the muscle. That's not really going to, it's going to burn a little bit of calories, which yes, it's going to burn a little bit of fat, but to burn the maximum amount of fat, you want to do cardio. Lifting weights, I use lifting weights to build muscle and strength. I use cardio to lose body fat, so I can burn calories, so I can either um, so I won't have to eat as low in a caloric deficit. I create a caloric deficit by eating as close to maintenance as I possibly can while upping the cardio. You know what I'm saying? Up the cardio, lower my calories. You know what I'm saying? Move more, eat less. You know what I'm saying? Calories in versus calories out. Seco. That's what that means. All right? Calories in is your intake. How many calories are you eating a day? Now... You will you will not know where you need to be if you didn't know your maintenance calories. Uh, my personal way of finding your maintenance calories, a lot of people um, do like apps and things like that. And those things usually have you way off, you know. A lot of reasons why a lot of people think that you don't need to count your calories and that calories in and calories out doesn't work because one of two things and a lot of people have both of these things all right okay, for one a lot of people on, don't really know how many calories there's three things really okay, people don't really know how many calories they need if I try to all right good, so if you, you don't good. know how many calories you, you need you cannot know other whether you're eating over or under the calories okay. you need all right two people under report their calories they don't know how to actually count their calories and when they do they they leave things out or they don't count serving sizes all right so that's a big mistake all right count everything and the serving sizes all right so if it say this much calories per serving if you have more than one serving you're having more than that overall calorie amount when you have that whatever it is all right drinks sauces 
they count, all right? The little things will add up. Drinks add up very fast, all right? If you're eating multiple things that have well over 100 calories a day, you can easily drink 3,000 calories and not even know it. And not even know it, all right? So be very careful. Be very mindful. Sauces too. Ranch dressing and things like that. Oils, oils, um, different oils, peanut butter, things like that. High fatty um, things, even, even if it's healthy fat. At the end of the day, eating healthy does not make you lose weight. Yes, you should eat healthy. But eating healthy does not make you lose weight. All right? Grab a pen and pad. Rewind a video if you have to, but grab a pen and pad. I'm about to hit y'all with all kinds of stuff, all right? So eating healthy is good, but if you're in a caloric surplus, you're going to gain weight. It doesn't matter what you're eating. You can eat nothing but bananas, and I'm using bananas because it's easy math. A banana is usually going to be 100 calories a piece depending on the size, so averaging about 100 calories, right? So let's say you eat... Let's say your maintenance calories was 2,500. Bananas are fruit, they're healthy. Let's say your maintenance calories was 2,500 calories, right? And you eat 28 bananas. So now you're at 2,800 calories. So you're, in a, you're, a, you're above your maintenance. Don't expect to lose a lot of weight. Now, that's only 300 calories above. If you burn um, 400 extra calories, you'll create a deficit. But if you're not active, if you're not burning calories, if you're not doing the calories out part, which is cool, at the end of the day, everybody don't have to exercise. Um, I recommend at least getting 200 hours of, um, I mean not hours, I recommend getting 200 minutes of um, cardio in per week, which ain't nothing, 200 minutes, that's like not even three hours, right? So. Three hours is what? 160, 120, 180, 180 hours? Minutes? <laughs> well, I keep saying hours. 180 minutes is three hours, so a little over three hours, right? Right. So, get your cardio in, all right? You do not have to do crazy cardio. You do not have to be sweating and running, and, and you don't have to spend hours on a treadmill. I do just basketball with my son and walking on different days. And I get way better results than most of the people that I know who are are pushing it to the limit with cardio running and everything. Because you got to remember this, all right? You might burn more calories in a short amount of time when you're going crazy like that. But when you do that, you can only do it for a short amount of time. So while you're done and, and wore out i'm still going all right it's not because i'm better than you at it it's because i chose something that i can actually accomplish now i'm fit enough to start running and everything i just don't want to all right um so i'm getting the results i'm looking for um so i don't have to now running jogging now i'm running while i play basketball sometimes but it's short bursts so hence hit cardio so I do hit cardio and I do steady state cardio. You know what I'm saying? On days that I'm, um, especially if I'm really on a diet, on days that I'm not doing basketball, I just do a long walk, maybe two hours. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you don't want to do that, then go ahead and run and everything. But at the end of the day, if, if you are a beginner, if you've been inactive for a long time, most people, you know, who are just starting to learn how to work out and everything, most people have been inactive for a long time. I don't know you, so I'm not talking about you personally, but only you can answer this. You, you don't have to answer to me, you answer to yourself. Have I been inactive for a long time? If the answer is yes, then I would not recommend, I tell people this all the time, and they don't listen until they hurt themselves. You most likely, you're putting yourself in danger if you just get up and start running. Trust me, I know too many people, and the heavier, I used to be almost 275. If I'd have just started running, I'd have just sitting on the couch. Knees, your knees and everything, your joints, your ankles, everything is taking a beating. Every time your ground, your feet stumps that ground, your 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 joints are taking a beating. 
When people work out, they mostly only think about their muscle and their fat. They muscle and fat. That's the only thing they think about. Building muscle and losing fat. It's more to it than that. You got joints, ligaments. You got bones. You got to think about it. You got nerves, tendons. Um, yeah, you got all kinds of stuff. Cartilage. I was just naming some things, right? You got blood. Earwax. <laughs> snot. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm kidding now. But you, you get what I'm saying, right? You got to worry about more than just muscle and fat. It's more to it. Muscle, fat, water weight. That's the things we're trying to manipulate when we try to lose weight. Um, that also brings me to a point. All right. A lot of people stay hydrated. But uh, a lot of people do the two two gallons of water a day thing. Yes, if the water is cold, it, um, your body has to heat that water up inside of your body, which is going to help it burn some calories. But it's, it's minute. So it's almost not even, it almost don't even count. I always tell people these variables that everybody else is chasing, they, they, they matter sometimes, some of them, but the ones that do, they matter so little that they almost don't even count. That's why people are struggling. They, they say they're doing everything. Most people are doing everything besides counting their calories. I keep repeating every day, count your calories. Scroll through any of my videos randomly. <laughs> you're gonna be hard pressed to find one even if it's a video that's not even about fitness you're gonna be hard pressed to find one that says that doesn't say count your calorie calories in calories because I'm, I'm that's the number one thing everybody does everything else besides the number one thing that's like jumping in your car and wondering why it didn't start you wipe the windows you uh check the blinkers you you checked um your, your, your tire pressure and you checked if your lights and doors lock and all that work but then you uh, wonder why the car didn't start you did all of that but you never pushed the button or you never uh turned the key or anything your car nothing's wrong with your car you did all that they said it wouldn't start and you take it to go get fixed you get it told and then when you when you take it to the place to get it fixed the person just start the car and it works fine who would do that? I'm just making an analogy, but I'm just saying that if they in the back and you can't see them, they're going to tell you all kinds of stuff wrong with your car so they can get paid, you know? <laughs> if they, you go in there like that, you're a sitting duck, all right? Whenever you go get your car fixed, act like you know something about cars because if not, it's going to be a list of $20,000. You're going to basically be buying your car again. <laughs> but um, that's what I'm saying, though. It's the same thing with fitness, all right? Your body is a machine. You know, it needs fuel. But other than like a machine, all right, the food that you put in your body is like the gas you put in your car. All right? Laws of thermodynamics, you cannot create or destroy energy. When you put gas in your car and you drive that gas, you don't get rid of it. The gas, your car, you drive long enough without refilling, your, your car goes on E empty right but you didn't destroy that gas that gas evaporated into the air it's still there though it's just not in your car it, it moved that same thing with body fat you cannot destroy your body fat well what's the point of working out then because you're getting it out of your body did you know your body fat um gets breathed out also stored energy all right when your body fat breaks down turn into carbon monoxide and it get breathed out all right i know what i'm talking about all right y'all about to say oh you just switched because you know i know what i'm talking about i just be you know messing up a little bit all right but i'm back on it your body your body the energy that is not used is stored calories are energy calories are bits of energy protein fats carbs all of it all of it is energy. A lot of people look at carbs as energy. But well, I'm doing keto, so ketones, ketones, I'm using fat as energy. Protein also gets used as energy. So, with that being said, when that whatever it is, protein, fats, or carbs, they will turn into fat if they're not used. They're stored energy, adipose tissue. Your body turns the unused calories into fat which means if you don't want to exercise, 
or if you don't exercise hard enough or often enough, um, if you want to still lose weight, you need to eat even lower of a um, calorie amount. Straight up. The calories I'm on right now is 2,200 calories, which is pretty low for me. That's a deficit. And then I'm creating a little bit more of a deficit by working out. But if I stopped working out, 2,200 calories would probably be my maintenance. Or it might be a surplus. I'll probably get fatter on 200. I mean, 200, two, ah, 2,200 calories. Now, a lot of people who don't even work out, and I, and I proved this so many times, type in rapid time fitness calories. I got so many videos that open people's eyes up that most people who are not counting their calories, they're eating over 5,000 calories. Straight up. They're eating over 5,000 calories. A lot of people, and when they get into fitness, they, they eat the same thing they eat, and then they throw in healthy food on top of it, which is a mistake. Just switch it out. You gotta, you should switch it out. Because if you're just adding to it, you're just adding more calories. Let's say you was already eating 5,000 calories, now you're eating 6,000, 7,000. That's why a lot of people gain weight when they start working out. Also, working out makes you hungry. All right, working out makes you hungry. It makes your appetite grow. Which, if you worked out hard enough, yes, you made up for most of the things you're gonna eat. But if you're eating, you're eating high caloric, dense foods. A lot of people think, okay, I worked out, I burned X amount of calories, so that means I can go ahead and eat whatever I want. No, no. You eat burgers, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I eat them. So Repetine, what, what do you mean you eat them? Why are you telling us not to eat them? Because I know my calorie amount. I know when to stop. I know how to fit it in. I got videos telling you exactly how to. Type in my cheat day videos. Type in my meal videos. Type in Repetine Fitness meals. I got meals that I actually got for you. You know, dirty meals and clean. And in between. And how to, how to fit them all in. Um, I always tell people don't starve yourself. And don't deprive yourself of everything you like. Because if your diet sucks, if you're never um, satisfied taste-wise or filled up, um, if you're always hungry, then you're not going to be able to stick to your diet forever. If you cut out everything that you like eating, let's say potato chips is your favorite snack, and then since you're on a diet, you can't have no potato chips. Guess what? You're not going to go without potato chips for the rest of your life. And now since you didn't have them in so long, when you finally go back to eating them, you ain't gonna be able to stop. You never gonna be able to stop. Same thing with me. I never had a sweet tooth until my first time dieting. But my first time dieting, like really hard and getting my abs, my first time getting abs as an adult. Well, no, I had abs before, and then I end up dirty bulking. I end up almost 300 pounds, and it took me a long time to go ahead and, and get abs again. Now, it probably wouldn't have took so long because um, I enjoyed being big. I thought I was muscular. You know, a lot of guys, they dirty bulk and they think it's muscle. My past self included. Until I looked in a mirror with no flexing, no nothing, and just told myself the truth. And I was like, wow, I need to lift some weight. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, I've told this story before, but it took me years to actually start losing weight. And then when I started losing weight, I didn't know what I was doing. I thought I, I almost got in panic mode. Then I started studying. I started doing. I've, I've learned everything, everybody else. That's how I know what's a mistake and what's not. I've made all the mistakes. The majority of people are making mistakes. And people will run with, they, with what they know or what they think they know because this is what everybody else says. you got to understand this. All right? We, we, this is scientifically proven. This ain't me dissing nobody. I used to be almost 300 pounds. We live in an obese country. So it's normal to be obese. So, and, and, and I don't know, the people who are obese, a third of them are morbidly obese, you know, where it's, where it's threatening their lives. All right? A lot of people don't even notice it. They don't go to the doctor or nothing. So, what I'm trying to say is, I, I mean, it's a harsh reality. I'm just, I'm just, I'm not the, I'm just the messenger, all right? Um, what I'm trying to say is this, all right? You cannot listen to the average person when it comes to dieting, all right? 
Because if the average person knew about dieting, then we wouldn't have the problem with obesity in this country. Most people don't know. A lot of people gain weight when they get on a diet. When they try to lose weight, they end up gaining it. Or they lose a bunch of weight really fast and then gain it all back. And a lot of times when they lose weight, they lose the wrong type of weight. They Instead of losing body fat, they keep their body fat. And then they lose water weight and muscle. And they're, some, they're happy because the scale went down. Just because the scale went down, just because you weigh less, doesn't mean you did what you were supposed to do. You know, if you're, if you're weaker lethargic if you're if you're you know a lot of people they diet down and they they still look the same even though they lost 50 pounds you know what i'm saying because they lost the wrong type of weight we're manipulating water muscle and fat fat is the culprit so at the end of the day we're trying to lose body fat that's why i always tell people like if you're doing diets that, that make you lose water weight like keto you know, a lot of people are happy that they lost that 20 pounds, 30 pounds, whatever they lost, and they wonder why they're stuck after that. Because you lost water weight. 